assessment of uh, where we are as an organization and where we stand on a policy level both in Ottawa and in Washington, D.C. Uh, as we seek to influence uh, federal policy in our two countries. He also summarized the progress we've made this year um, on a number of fronts, and I'm not going to repeat the assessment, but I do want to highlight a couple of what I think the most important challenges are that we face and then tell you what I think the top four items on our to-do list are. First, in the United States, our federal system of supporting airports and supporting our customers is broken. And that dysfunction, of course, includes a PFC that is equal to less than half of what it was in 2000, sequestration-inspired threats to AIP, inadequate CBP funding and staffing, and TSA's uh, regular inventing and imposing new unfunded mandates on airports. Second, the Canadian Air Transport Security Authority is being given new mandates by the federal government, but the federal government is not providing any permanent source of funding for those mandates. In addition, the Canada Border Services Agency is, there's some good news and bad news here, uh, has developed technology and trusted traveler uh, efficiencies, but airports are increasingly required to shoulder much of the financial responsibility, responsibility to implement these innovations. Third, Dave mentioned that some of our membership has been, as he put it, extremely restless and frankly disenchanted with ACI. I might take that a step further and say that they intimated a vote of no confidence in both of their national associations' abilities to accomplish our legislative objectives. I agree with Dave that we've made some progress, we've addressed some, some of the concerns of the larger gateway airports, but I'm reminded of a uh, message that some of the many hundreds of business and customer service gurus there are out there once said, he said, we should not be satisfied with happy customers. We should pursue a situation where our customers are thrilled. I agree. We must aspire to have all ACI uh, members <coughs> thrilled by their association. So fourth, while our Canadian division and the airports in Canada are certainly making progress in working with the airlines in Canada on issues of common concern and common cause, in the United States we are far too often on the opposite sides of key issues with the airlines in the United States. And finally, both North American airport organizations face a once-in-a-generation opportunity. In a few weeks, AAAE will officially name their new president, and in a couple of months, uh, we will do the same. The executive committees and the boards of both organizations uh, have indicated a strong interest in finding a more collaborative and integrated way of working together on government and regulatory affairs. However, we still can't point yet to a very concrete plan going forward. So my friends and my colleagues, we have some challenges and we have some opportunities. Our to-do list is certainly not getting any shorter. And in fact, I would say it's getting uh, longer and more imperative. I want to take a couple of minutes though to set out what I think we need to accomplish over the next year. I just said we need to accomplish, and I think we is the operative term here. The tasks ahead will require all of us in the airport industry, large, medium, and small airports, major international gateways, and the smallest of the small amount hubs, U.S. airports, Canadian airports, hub and O&D airports, Airports that have long been key participants of ACI and those that are more affiliated with AAAE. Those that are concerned mostly with CBP funding and those who are far more concerned with making sure that the AIP match is an appropriate percentage. We have to all work together. The ACI Executive Committee and Board members cannot by themselves achieve what we need to do. Large gateway airports cannot by themselves make it happen. AAAE cannot be successful by itself, and neither can ACI. 
So I'm choosing to look at the challenges ahead. The ones I mentioned just a minute ago is opportunities. Opportunities we have to make the airport industry stronger and to make us far more effective advocates on behalf of airports and the millions of customers we serve every year. So first, let's make ACINA the strongest organization it can be. We plan on having our new president in place by the end of the year. With his or her leadership, we should articulate a clear organizational and political strategy that will inspire all of our members and establish the means of accomplishing our regulatory and legislative goals. Second, that strategy should include a path towards greater collaboration and integration of ACI and AAAE. Everybody in this room knows this will not be easy. Both Mark Brewer, the current chair of AAAE, and Todd Hopley, who will be nominated in Nashville to be the AAAE's next president, were with us earlier in the conference. And they affirm AAAE's seriousness and their cautiousness about this endeavor. We cannot force integration but we must pursue it creatively, flexibly, and relentlessly. Third, our Canadian division over the coming year will be focusing its efforts on promoting the growth of air traffic to, from, uh, through, and within Canada. And finally, those of us in the United States, in close collaboration with AAAE, must continue to prepare for the FAA reauthorization in 2015. As Dave indicated earlier, the Government Affairs Committee and the staff have been working very hard on a far more strategic campaign orientation than we've done in the past. We have been using sequestration and the mess that it uh, is as an opportunity to make our case on sustainable airport funding. We're making more progress and far earlier than in the past in building coalitions with other organizations. But when we are in Atlanta in just a year, we will be only five months away from the first hearings. Our goal should not be just to be a better petitioner for sustainable changes in the U.S. federal program. We should set a goal of being in the driver's seat on that issue. So the priority agenda, and there are many, many other issues as we all know, is short. There's only four items on what I just articulated. But there are four ambitious and four critical items. I said before, this is our agenda. Now, quite a few of you have stopped me in the hallway or before or after a session in the last few days to offer your help, to tell me to just let, let you know what you can do to help the board and me over the coming year. You know who you are, and I hope you meant it because I know how to find you. So I sincerely look forward to working with all of you on our to-do list. So a year from now, we can say that ACANA is stronger, that the airport industry is more unified and effective, the Canadian airports are more competitive, and the United States airports are prepared for the 114th Congress in 2015. Thank you so much.